is up everybody buddy 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 and welcome back to another marvel snap video 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 so today guys of course bring you all a brand new deck and now this deck is very very similar to a deck i showed off to you guys um a couple videos ago early in the week um so with this deck um it like i said it's very similar it is very similar to the shuri zero deck that i showed you guys um and with that deck um basically it did revolve around shuri who doubles your next card's power and also zero who gets rid of your next card's ability um and basically what you want to do with this deck is you want to play Shuri, then you want to play some really crazy heavy, heavy hitter like Red Skull, so it doubles Red Skull's power. Um, however, the difference with this deck compared to um, the last deck that I showed off to you guys is um, the fact that um, it is the fact that we've replaced, I believe we had Dr. Doom in the last deck, we've replaced Dr. Doom with Polaris, just to free up our options a little bit more, um, other than that, these decks are basically, like, identical, but I mean, I just love these kind of decks, um, a Shuri Zero deck is just so fun to use, and this is actually really good for us, as I was gonna snap anyway, but they do end up retreating, because I was gonna go Shuri, and then a Red Skull, but in the end it worked out, so, I mean, you just to this person. So we get the Lost Diablo Space, which is actually a very safe location to play at. It looks like I ain't playing the same person as before, so that should be interesting, as we get Project Pegasus. Uh, definitely not too bad. I might as well just go Sunspot and then just get the rest of the energy as power for him. So he's going to be super strong. I don't really have any heavy hitters I could play. Like, I guess I could have played Aero. Um, but yeah, that 7 power Sunspot is beautiful. And then we get Oscorp Tower, which isn't the worst thing in the world. But I am going to play Lizard over where Titania is at. Just because I know I'll get her back. As this dude gets rid of his Sabertooth. Um, I really hope we do get Red Skull soon. But we are going to have to wait and see. Because I, I do have zero. Ah, oh, that kind of sucks. Um, I'm definitely going to have to skip. So that way Sunspot gets his power, and then I can play She-Hulk and potentially Taskmaster. Uh, so that'll definitely be very nice. So I'm gonna go She-Hulk. Ah, okay. Um, I could actually go Armor. Armor than She-Hulk. Yeah. And then next turn, I can go Taskmaster and potentially someone else. As he drops a blue Marvel. That's not too bad. Um, ah, that kind of sucks because we just gave him Titania back. Oh, actually, I could use Polaris to pull Titania. That could be a strategy. Um... Well, I'm gonna probably have to go Taskmaster, and then I might as well drop Zero behind him just to give him that little bit of extra power. Uh, if I'm lucky, he drops someone down behind Titania and gives me Titania back, which he does. Oh my gosh, no way. That is hilarious. And then, yeah, he took with the Gamora, but that's fine because he still ended up winning regardless. Oh my gosh, dude, there's no way we actually ended up winning that. Let's freaking go, dude. I mean, he still would have lost if he played. 
to Sabretooth over at the Ruins, because it would have been 12 power, but let's go, dude. Oh, what a clutch titanium pool. But I mean, GG's this guy again. So we get Elysium, which you love to see. So every card will cost one less. That's definitely gonna help us in the long run. Ah, uh, we get hit with Necrozia. Which kind of sucks, but that's fine. Uh, I might as well just drop Polaris with my Lizard. Um, if I'm lucky, I get my Titania back. Um, before she ends up being pulled by Polaris. But that's not gonna happen. So Polaris is gonna pull her over and then we're gonna get her on our side anyway. That's fine. Uh, let's see. Stark Tower. Definitely not too bad. I will drop she over on the left. And then I can maybe go Cosmo behind her. Just to get that like a little bit of extra power. As he plays a Doctor Doom. Okay. snapping so I guess I'm a little bit scared because they have a, a Thor oh no and then I can go red skull and I'm gonna wait just in case I do get Taskmaster because if I do that'll be amazing for us okay this dude plays Odin Sunspot all these crazy cards, but that's fine. Uh, we should end up winning. Yeah, we should. But I'm, I'm so afraid he's going to play Mjernia. So, that's tough. I want to go bang, bang. And I'm going to have to predict where he's going to play his next card. So I might as well play Cosmo River on the right. Ah, that's unfortunate. That's so unfortunate. Oh wait, he actually played Magneto. What? Oh, okay, let's go, dude. I was gonna say, I held my breath there for a second because I thought he was gonna play Mjolnir to win. Because if he played Mjolnir, that's a zero cost. His Sunspot would have gained um, 6 power from the unspent energy. And his Thor would have gained 6 power from Mjolnir. So I was like, oh no, he just won. But thank goodness he just played Magneto. And we barely squeezed out the victory. So GG's to them. So we get the Gamma Lab. Which is actually pretty good. After turn 3, all cards transform into Hulk. Um, however, with this deck, I don't feel like I can get enough cards on the board in time. In order for me to be like, okay, let's um, let's try and flood the board with Hulks, you know. Uh, so I kind of tend to stay away from the Gamma Lab. Yeah, as you can see, this guy's like completely just flooding the board. Which is fine. Um, I definitely don't have an issue with that. The funny thing is, though, is that this dude, he has, like, full stack over where the raptor is. Or over at the Savage Lands, should I say. So, I don't, he has, like, no cards to play. Which is interesting. Uh, I will go and... Oh, do I? Do I really want to do that? Because there is Shuri. Uh, but I, I want to go Shuri Shield. But I don't think I can. So I'll use Polaris to hopefully pull Deadpool over. Just in case he tries to drop a Carnage. But I do have to be pretty careful. Never mind, he has Killmonger instead. What the heck? And, oh yeah, I thought he had like a, um, 
a venom and I was going to be so scared. But now we can go Shuri. Oh, this is kind of tough though. Where do I play Shuri? I guess I have to go Shuri down the middle, right? Shuri and then Shiok is like the only thing I can think about doing. Okay, as he just completely destroys all of his cards down the middle. Oh, this is kind of tough. This is very tough. I'm going to have to go. Oh. Dang, dude. I'm going to have to go. Should I just risk it and go Shield Titania over on one side? I really don't think he's going to expect it. Oh, but this will be pretty funny. <laughs> yes, let's go, dude. Let's go. I knew for a fact they were not going to expect that because they definitely thought they won over at the Gamma Lab. That's why I was like considering, like I was considering it and being like, maybe, because there's no way they play a card here. Um, and even if they did, Titania wouldn't have gone over. But. GG's to them, that was very, very close. But I mean, yeah guys, yeah guys, yeah guys, yeah guys, yeah guys. So that was another iteration of the um, Shuri Zero deck. Um, basically, just no Doctor Doom, you have Polaris instead. Um, but let me know what you guys think about this deck down in the comments below. Which deck is better, the first one I showed you guys, or this one, the second? Uh, as always, if you guys did like the video, please make sure to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to the channel to show support. I do appreciate all of it. And as always, 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 